Hey folks, um, I have a new video for today. It's a bit of a rant on something that I'm sure that a lot of game collectors or people who just buy vintage retro games on anything resembling a regular basis just find annoying as all hell. And that, or hell, even mo modern games, because I have quite a few modern games here that I kind of want to talk about this with. And that is the necessary evil of these effing price stickers. And yeah, uh, I, I got a Lost Odyssey for $9 from GameStop, no less. Jeez, they cut me a deal. They're charging next to nothing for this. I mean, wow. Um, <coughs> now, I kind of want to show off one thing that's always, always annoyed me. See that right there? Sticker right there on the label inside, on the insert. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I really have to give GameStop credit for this one, though. And, like, <laughs> three of the five discs come tumbling out. Well, there were five discs for this. Wow. One, two, three. Yeah, no, four discs. Sorry. Okay. Okay. I really have to give them credit for this. <laughs> yeah, the sticker just... <laughs> they didn't put take the sticker off the uh, little piece of paper for it, and I commend them for that. That is fantastic. Also, I'm just noticing, because I've never really opened this game before. I intended to play it a while back. I still haven't gotten to it. This manual, I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of pages in here. I mean... God, it doesn't even go into, like, the foreign language, but it's got 30-something page. Way to go. That's fantastic. I missed that. Okay. So, yeah. That bugs me. <laughs> so I figured I would, um... I'll figure out how to close this with all these discs later. So I figured I would, um... Talk about... Like, maybe take some of these stickers off. Uh, and just show how annoying this is to people who don't know or, hell, do know and just want to see someone else get frustrated. Right now, I'm going to show you one of my worst case scenarios. From that same problem with the sticker right on the insert. This is Romance of the Three Kingdoms 9. Excellent game. You know, I, I love this series. I have all the PlayStation 2 entries now. And this is probably my favorite of the bunch. Maybe 10 is better, but I love this one. Um, if you notice... Nice little custom label here. Because they had a sticker right there. And the manual falls out. Yeah, you see that? Just... Yeah, that's where the sticker sticker was. Right that white spot there. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. And th this is golden too. This is friggin' gold right here. You put the sticker on the manual. Also, the manual seems to have some water damage to it. I mean, it's not their fault. I believe I got this at GameStop. Uh, I don't know. It might have been a thrift, a flea market purchase. But still, you put the sticker on the manual? Are you kidding me? Ugh. Oh, and the, the little pegs for the manual insert on, uh, aren't on there. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and assume that wasn't their fault. But sticker on the manual, that's their fault. And again, I don't know if this is GameStop. It could have been a flea market purchase. I don't remember. Now, and oh, oh, another two really, really bad examples of how badly this can go. This right here is a copy of Valus 3 on the Sega Genesis. Now, you'll notice there's some writing here. Now, that's because there's a sticker for a local grocery store on top of it here. You see the red part? Yeah. That's from a local grocery store, and they used to sell or rent video games it there, at those places, and I remember that actually pretty vividly. And yeah, no. Label tore off, not because of that sticker, but because the used game store put the sticker on the label. Y you see there, I actually wrote in pen the title of the game on there. <laughs> like, if you're selling used video games, you would think you wouldn't do that when there's all this space here on the back that no one cares about. 
You know, it's not like a Super Nintendo game where there are stickers on the back. See, this is actually annoying too, but that's not too bad. You know, but like an NES game, like that sticker, just put it there. Like with the Genesis game, you don't have to dodge a sticker, just put it on the back of the damn label. And here's a really annoying one. This is one of the rarest games I own. The Punisher on Sega Genesis. I bought it for like 20 bucks at that used game store. This tends to go for between the 40 and $60 range. It tends, tends to uh, be a little bit of a volatile game in, in terms of price. It just goes back and forth between those. But a loose copy of this goes for about 40 50 bucks. They put a sticker on the label. See, isn't that lovely? Isn't that lovely? I thought I was getting a deal. I mean, and, oh, I, I might be saying, well, but at least the game's really good. It really isn't. It, this is mediocre and forgettable. It's not even bad. It's just, eh, it exists. And the sticker, I, I, I had to pick it off with my fingernail and, and take just enough of it off of the sticker that it, I don't even know if this is worth anything anymore because I, I can't sell it like this. You know, I don't like the game. I might, you know, try to sell it and turn a profit, you know, buy some games I like. Maybe sell it at the lower end of the market value spectrum, 40 45 bucks. You know, make a nice profit, buy some games I want. But no, I could probably sell it for the price I bought it for, which is like 20 Maybe. Thanks. Now, here's an example of... Now, right there, that's annoying. I'm going to try to take this off. But first, I'm going to show you an example of price stickers that I don't mind. Because that looks a little old. I bought this game for uh, 20 bucks. the sticker on the back says. But that says 54 I don't know what store this is from. But, um, yeah, I, I don't mind those. That's annoying. It's on the sticker. There's so much space here you can put it on. But that doesn't bother me much. Because that's been on there for a long time. You know, I'm considering that to be a part of this cartridge's personal history. That tells me something about it. And I like that. This it's got, has to come off, and it might take part of the label on it with it. It's just really annoying stickers. These are the ones that just really don't want to give, and they take the friggin' label off. If I had any intention of selling this game, if I didn't love this game... If I didn't like Illusion of Gaia as much as I do, I would be really pissed off because now I can't. Now I'm gonna have to knock a couple bucks off of the off of the friggin' value of it because of that. And this is another one bought from a used game store. Don't friggin' do that. Mega Man Two, right there. Nice job taping the thing on. It's really kind of hard to get the Scotch tape off of this thing with my thumbnail. Yeah, got a little bit off. Awesome. Uh, and I managed to get the price tag of this halfway off. I'm going to try to get the rest off. All right, now. Eh. Great, yeah. Here's another one on Blaster Master. Get some goo gone, that'd probably help, but it doesn't help me get the damn stickers off. Oh my god, I think I might be getting this one off without a problem. Yes! Play the Final Fantasy victory theme music, because I got the entire thing off in one go without leaving anything on it. There's not even really much residue. Oh god, that is fantastic. There's a little bit visible there, but you kind of have to squint a little there. I don't even know if that'll pick up. Yeah, you can see it gleaming a little in the light. And that's not a problem for me at all. I mean, it really isn't. It doesn't matter to me. I like my games to look good. I mean, it's more important that they play good, but... Ugh, it's annoying. Let's see, do I have any... Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. I bought this one, I think, from, like, GameStop several years ago. Like, right there, $17.99. I don't know how much this is worth anymore, but you might be able to check to see how much of the value it. Water damage. A little bit of water da That, yeah. I don't know if that's... It's not GameStop's fault, but... Uh, game scratch to hell. That could be my fault. I bought this probably a long, long time ago. Let's try to get this sticker off. Ah. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. No, this one, okay. All right, I'll give you that these stickers they appear to be from a, from the Electronics Boutique. Ooh, very nice. Uh, yeah, e EB Game, Electronics Boutique. I'm leaving all these stickers on here. You know, as unsightly though they may be, the box isn't in great enough condition for me to care. But that's part of this game's history. It was bought at Electronics Boutique for 1999. Probably sometime in the late 90s. Very cool. D. Okay. All right. We got another one of those. But it's on a plastic label. Yeah. D action here. Oh, by the way, you can see me that I took part of one off. Again, bought from a used game store that should know better. Oh, yeah. This is, this is great. It's great. I'm going to see if I can get any. Yeah. Great. Here's a GameStop one. This is one of those loose cases. I'm not going to complain too much because I got a copy of Enchanted Arms, which I've heard mixed things about, but it sounds pretty good. For uh, $6.29 if I had the reward card or whatever. 7 if I didn't. Now, I don't care about these boxes, but but if I ever like want to get... Like, print out a custom label for this. So I can actually have it on my shelf and looking good. You know, I, I might, like, have to print that out and take these stickers off. Which is a pain in the ass. Here's another one. Recent purchase. Oh, man. I, I think I mentioned in my uh, pickups video for this that um, this game might be worth something someday. And I'm predicting that. See if I can get the sticker off. Okay, not terrible. I mean, I, I guess I could just switch this case out with another one of my 360 games. That, I mean, that wouldn't be a problem. The cases are all identical. <clears throat> Who cares, really? I don't know if any collector would care about that, but... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting, like, little nice little pick marks on here. Leaving some more residue from the paper. Oh, God. Yeah, fantastic. But you know what? At least they didn't put a price tag on the manual. Or on the game. And keep the receipt in here, because I haven't played this yet. I want to make sure that it works. But, you know, that's annoying. I don't know. I know. I know. Where else are they going to put it? Whatever. It's, it's still annoying. Let's see. Any of the other ones here? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't care if this one looks good or not, but still, let's let's try that with this one, Duke Nukem Forever. Ah, uh, eh, great. Nice little pick mark there. Oh, man, it's like, there's actually kind of made a hole. Wow. Very cool, very cool. Love that. That's, probably can't see that, but, eh, very, very nice. Need to find a waste basket for this. Stick them on my dresser for now. This one, actually another cool little bit of history. Be kind. Please rewind your Nintendo game. I actually have the box for this somewhere. It looks like it got hit by a truck. <laughs> yeah, not a bad game, though. Our kiss is ring. Worth checking out. Okay, now I actually pulled the sticker off of this 32X game a while back, but this sticker right here, I don't know if this will come off. I bought this at Voltage. I like them. They tend to be good with their stickers. They actually, I think, advertised on their Facebook that they're using less adhesive stickers and, like, less really annoying ones. And, and you know what? This is going to be a pain in the ass to get off, but it'll get off, and it's not too much of a problem. It's just kind of a nuisance. You know, it happens. But, I mean, they had a sticker on the back of it for the price. I don't know why they needed one here. I mean, again, benefit of the doubt, I don't know where they got this game from. Might have been in someone's personal collection. Maybe they had it at, like, a yard sale. It didn't sell. They had the market value price down it. And they just, like, like eh, eh, you're selling some stuff we didn't sell at the yard sale. I don't know. But, yeah, whatever. By the way, Tempo, really good game. Okay, uh, you have a 32X, get that game. It's about 15 bucks. Totally worth every cent. Here's another one. Not really a problem sticker. Sid of Valis. Again, I like Valis. This game sucks. 
sticker, thirteen bucks, twelve ninety nine. Trying to take it off without making any kind of holes in this thing. Okay, I got most of it, and there goes the rest. Okay. Yeah, Voltage Video Games seems to be pretty good about that. They're a really good store. I mean, I recommend them if you're in the Syracuse area. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I appreciate that a lot. Their stickers originally were a bit annoying, but now they're good. Here's another one from GameStop. You know what? I'm going to stop showing the crappy games from GameStop. Turning Point, Follow Liberty. I don't care if this one looks good. Screw it. I, I wasn't even gentle with it just there. Here are um, a pair of uh, flea market finds with some annoying stickers on it. Now, this one, okay, this could be from a GameStop. This one right here, the $4 one, that's not as much of a problem because it's on top of a sticker. At least they did that. I appreciate that. There's a, one of the regular guy at the flea market that I buy games from. He tends to be good about that, but he seals the things up with a sticker. It's like, it says two week warranty or whatever, and he just slaps it on here. A little annoying, but at least he puts it, like, right on this little dent here. So you can easily get it off. Appreciate that, but it's kind of hard to get the rest of it off, because I can't, like, get a thumbnail under there, so I have to go in here and get some nice little fingernail dents on there. Yeah, Ringer Red. I haven't played this game yet. I wanted to, but my PS2 is a piece of crap. And it doesn't play games with any amount of scratches on them. Yeah, right. Shows the wrong day to trim my nails. But yeah, I got most of it off. Nice little GameStop sticker here on the back. Ugh. This one I bought a long time ago. I'm not getting that off. By the way, it's WWF Warzone. Terrible game. I paid 11 bucks for this. It was probably like close to 10 years ago. Ugh. God, terrible, terrible game. Here's another one I bought from that guy at the flea market. Tetris, Game Boy. Little $3 sticker. I might have overpaid, but flea market. Yeah. Trying to get most of it off. Got a little more than half. This is great. Eh. Just got to dig my thumbnail into the cart to get this thing off. It just it hurts. Got it. And now, yeah, and another example of of that at its most annoying. Panzer Dragoon from another used game store. I don't want to name them because I don't really have a lot of positive to say about them. I don't want to give them bad press because I do, I go there once in a while. And occasionally I can get a good deal there. But this sticker on Panzer Dragoon, 15 bucks, which, you know, that seems like a pretty good deal on Panzer Dragoon. Trying to get the damn thing off. Trying to show you what it just... Ah, God, I mean, you collectors out there, you just have to feel my pain here. I can feel the adhesive goo. I can see it just pulling up with it, like, just glue. Ah. Oh, delightful. I'm going to have to get some goo gone for that. Hold on, I want to try something. It's a game I don't care about. Okay. WWF Warzone. It kind of stuck there for a second. Those adhesives, man, they're they're on there good. Yeah, screw it, this is stupid. But yeah, no, it doesn't immediately fall. It like takes a little bit, to, like a fraction of a second to fall off. That's how you know you got some good stickers. Here's one I just bought today from them. I don't want to show off the label because, I mean, again. I'm kind of bitching about them here. I go there once in a while. I like them. More positives than negatives. But, okay. Trying to take this obnoxious orange sticker off. Okay, that comes off fairly okay. <sighs> Not getting the rest of it off. Okay, there goes almost all the rest of it. And here is the uh, rest of it right here on the label. I'm trying to cover it up so no one can see it. Because I mean, I I, I like the store, um, but that is 
it's just annoying. And I don't want to bitch about them on the internet, give them bad press, and run the risk of getting in trouble with them. Though I'm sure they don't watch this and don't care. Okay, another sticker here on the back. It was actually a little bit uplifted already when I got it, which is a plus, and it comes off just nicely. I, there's not even really much adhesive on here, which is nice. I mean, if only the label just didn't... It's like some obnoxious smudging on there. You can kind of see it in the light. Bug, by the way. I've been curious about this game for a while. Just bought it a couple hours ago. Another one for the dresser. Here's another one that just kind of annoyed me. I just bought this today for two bucks from the same place. You know, and, and this is really nitpicky, I'll admit that. They had a price sticker, like, right there. You can see a few white spots. That's from the paint, that's from, like, the uh, paper peeling off just a little bit when I took the price tag off. Fantastic. It cost me two bucks, don't judge me. <laughs> and I got my copy of the actual game for like four dollars and this one for... I paid less than ten dollars for my entire Duke Nukem Forever thing, you know. I paid more to download it on the virtual... on the uh, Xbox Live Arcade. Which, by the way, I do that. Duke Nukem 3D. Awesome game. But yeah, no, that's really incredibly annoying. Uh, even good retro game stores sometimes do that. Um, I, I just find it intensely irritating. I, I'm sure a lot of you other collectors or gamers out there feel the same way. It's just It just feels like one of those minor nitpicky things. Like, why would you even bitch about that? Because it's annoying! You know, whatever. Uh, if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, whatever. Hope you enjoyed. If not, sorry. Mm -hmm. It's kind of becoming my catchphrase at this point. Just that kind of apathetic. No, I hope you enjoyed this. If you didn't, mm -hmm. sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, have a good one. Hope you enjoyed this, and I hope your stickers come off easily when you buy games next. I've had the same problem with DVDs and VHS tapes in the thrift store. Oh, God, the thrift store ones. Oh, God. Ugh. <laughs> Have a good one.